Plain Tasters, it's your girl Plain Taste Buds coming to you today with how I make nachos in my home. So last time I was actually talking about how we do pizza nights, me and my boyfriend, and so we actually just expanded and decided to start up a nacho night just to like have rotation. Pizzas are cool, don't get us wrong or don't get me wrong, but it's nice to have variety. So we already have the ground beef cooked up to perfection babe actually did that part and in it he added some oregano salt and pepper all-purpose seasoning and onion powder i believe those are the five things that he added just for the meat by itself i am going to bake now some bacon thick cut bacon strips i've been dying to get some thick cut bacon strips i actually just went to um whole foods here finally and was able to come up on these and then I'm gonna add once again it's all wrapped up but my Hungarian salami that I have so just have that baking while I spread the chips and get that part going so that it all can actually rather I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 10 minutes to give it a nice little head start and then from there I'm going to actually take it out cut it up and put it on top for other ingredients, I will be using green peppers, red onions, uh, red kidney beans, and I have some jalapeno peppers as well. So the thing I like about when you make your own stuff like this, whether it be pizza night, whether it be nacho night, I hope I said nacho night and not taco night earlier, you can do what you want to do. You have the freedom to do it. You can get creative. You can get boring. Last time we did this. Honestly, we just did the cheese and the meat because that's what we was feeling like. But I was like, nah, today I'm going to do it a little bit more than that with the guac on the side and the salsa. So stay tuned after this because a mukbang will be following of me eating this. And let me tell you, I already know for a fact it's going to be delicious and you're not going to want to miss it. So with that being said, let's get started. So I have my pan lined up with the fabulous aluminum foil and I'm just going to take a Tostito Scoops and put it down as a bed and then start layering cheese meat cheese meat well chips cheese meat chips cheese meat just like that but first I gotta plop these in the oven all right so I got my bacon thick cut bacon look at it look at it with my Hungarian salami about to pop this into the oven at 400 degrees so I got my scoop I got a little bit of mozzarella that I'm gonna put on top, and then the rest is cheddar. I got my ground beef that I'm ready to spread on as well. And actually, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my slotted spoon so that the juices can stay in the pot versus uh, try to come onto the chips themselves. And you don't have to put these down with such precision, um, but because I'm using scoops, I kind of just want to make sure that for the most part, the bowl, excuse me, the bowl shape is up versus down. So that when I go to put like the meat, like for the most part, it will fall into the bowl. So I, this is a fun fact, another fun fact about me, I used to work in food service. I was a catering manager, I was a regular manager of like a sub shop, all that. Um, and for one of my, when I was a catering manager, I actually, we did taco bars. So taco bars are actually really cool. Like the one thing we won't be adding is corn and I do like corn on my, well we did taco bars and nacho bars. So let me be more clear. I wish I had some corn to add to this, but it's all good. Oh, just draw some of my beef. I gotta go pick it up. So now that I've added my beef, it's time to go in with the cheese, the cheese. Babe shredded this cheese and he did such a wonderful job. So thank you, babe. And then back at it with our layer. All right, 
looks like I'm gonna get three rows out of this, which is kind of cool. Okay, last row. Something tells me my boyfriend's son is gonna love this. And then topping it off with the mozzarella cheese. Are y'all excited? I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I have a little bit of tortillas left, but I really don't think that's necessary. I mean, look at this. <laughs> so exciting. I'm gonna check on my bacon and my salami and see how they're coming. So just checked on my bacon and salami. My salami is looking very well done. So I'm letting the bacon cook a little bit longer because it's thicker. And I'm just gonna cut these up and put it on top. This knife is so dull. Almost reminds me of bacon bits. Bacon finally done. I'm gonna use my tongs to hold them as I cut them up and place it once again on top. Now, my boyfriend made a good suggestion for next time to already have these cooked so we could weave it in. But for some reason, I wasn't thinking that. I was straight up just thinking like, okay, we'll just like, I don't know, put it on top. But that's also a good idea. You could just like put it in for, with your layers. Okay, I can't help myself. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. It's gonna be so exciting. So now I'm just gonna take the remaining pieces and just rip them up if I feel like they're too big instead of wasting time cutting. Greasy bacon hands, greasy bacon hands. All done putting my bacon atop. And I'm just gonna hold this so you guys can see See what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Well, it good, don't it? Mmm. All right, time to put this into the oven. I have my oven set at 400 degrees. I'm gonna put it in for roughly about seven minutes and see what happens because the bacon's cooked, the salami is cooked, the beef is cooked. It's just now about the cheese melting. And then as far as my other toppings go, I'm gonna put those on. I'm gonna put those on after. It's time to take it out. It's time to take it out. It's time to take it out. Take it out the oven. Yes, look at that. Ooh-wee, 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 ooh-wee. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Looks melted and delicious. So now I'm actually going to cut up my jalapeno, my, um, what do I got, what do I got, what do I got? My green pepper and my onion and put it on top as well as my, got any more I'm gonna cut up? Oh, my beans, my beans, I'll put my beans on top. So I'm only going to actually put my peppers and jalapenos on half of my nachos just because I want to avoid any problems, if we will, with my boyfriend's son picking it all off. So if you're wondering, or if you were wondering um, with the thumbnail, like why is it only half decorated with stuff? Now you know. Bean time. All right, guys, here you have it, our nacho that we're gonna be eating. I'ma jazz it up a little bit more with my salsa and have my avocado on the side, but stay tuned for that with the mukbang. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in a few seconds or minutes or days or whatever. Bye.